All right, guys. I figured I would, since I cheated you out of an hour and 10 minutes of the hate report on Friday, I thought maybe I would do a little recording to put out for you guys on a Sabado Saturday. Check this out, it's a cool tree. Isn't that nice? I guess. So, here at San Onofre. So nice. It's a cool, overcast day. I don't know if you can hear me that well. There's the sun. <clears throat> so here we go. Dang, look at that. Obvious globe. Let's let's not get too hung up on that though, on the obvious globe. Cyclists. They call them cyclists so you don't call them bikers. Look will you look at that? I was checking out the uh, best of, Jesse Lee Peterson best of. Crazy stuff going on in the world. Best of the week, you know. There is a JLP Highlights podcast that you can check out. It's been around a long time. Uh, neglected for a bit there, for quite a bit there. But um, let me make sure my picture is actually good. Uh, but I recommend checking it out if you can. It's, you know, the best of the week lately, past few weeks. And it has some older stuff, much older stuff that's been uploaded over the years to it. Different from the Jesse Lee Peterson full radio show podcast is the highlights. Mostly radio highlights, but some archive stuff. Stuff uploaded to YouTube. San Diego County. So nice. This is the beach. Can you believe it? It's the beach. No garbage collection. Don't be don't be a litter bug. That Venezuelan illegal, alleged illegal or whatever the guy was, who was talking about squatting. Man, that squatter story that JLP was covering on the uh, show this week infuriating infuriating I was listening to uh, American Anchor Baby his Friday show wow cool huh his Friday show uh, the guy whom I always tune out because he's crazy <laughs> and also because I'm very poor at paying attention sometimes I want to be better about that um, because life is better when you pay attention, but uh, and so is my show. My show is better when I pay attention. Um, Frederick, Frederica, Frederick from Los Angeles. He was like, I don't see Jews being angry, that's all I see from them. <laughs> At least the liberal ones and the ones who get into the victimhood stuff, that's all I see from them. But he thinks that Jew. The Jews aren't angry, at least from what I understood, from what, uh, or didn't understand, from what the anchor baby was talking about with him, was that they just, they don't, they have the power, they just punish you. And he says that that's not anger. 
they don't get angry, they get even. That's not quite right. Getting even is getting kind of angry. Hey. How you doing, man? All right. I'm trying to, I'm trying not to show faces or dox people. <laughs> um, all they ever do, victimhood this, uh, stomp people with their worldly power, that, that's just anger. Just like everybody else, just like what Anchor Baby was saying. Nick, the American Anchor Baby, Nick Stream. Friday show. I didn't catch his full show yet. <laughs> I just caught basically to there, I think. I thought of that because I said that the squatter story was infuriating. Infuriating! How these people are getting killed by squatters, or at least one gal, allegedly got murdered May by a squatter, by a squ couple of squatters. Her mother died or something like that, and so she was going into this house that she owned apartment that she owned that her mother passed down to her or something she's getting her stuff and her, her dog uh, was barking when she when her body her dead body was found in a suitcase beaten to death by squatters at least if I understood the story right squatters being people who homeless bums who hole up in your house or somebody's cabin or uh, apartment or whatever and act like they own the place. If you try to park there, if you try to park a car there to uh, pretend like somebody's there, they'll get mad and hit the car, vandalize the car. Um, the owner has no rights. The squatter has the rights. Some woman got arrested, according to some story that uh, was kind of viral this week. JLP covered it. Crazy. So that's what I mean by infuriating the injustice. Even though it's not happening to me, the temptation to be like, go into my imagination what I would do. You have to protect yourself, though. Protect yourself. I think JLP said this week, awareness, being present, is your protection. I think I, I wanted to say one time recently that love is your protection. Not being angry, not hating. Because say you get mad, you go too far. You confront somebody with a gun or something or whatever. You get in trouble. So you better be clear minded in this in these times with this with these situations and all kinds of stuff. Cause then you take it out. You're mad about all these other squatter stories. And you take your all these squatter stories that you have hold up in your imagination and memory and and emotions. And then you take that out, all that out on uh, some more poor, relatively innocent squatter who uh, doesn't necessarily deserve all that punishment that you want to meet out on, on him. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? People going like, like these, like these, reminds me of like these black ladies who I heard on the radio show highlights segment check it out jlp highlights podcast um also premiered just this morning this is saturday the 23rd of march ad 2024 it's 9 37 a.m by the way pacific daylight time uh these ladies this story, this clip of this black lady taking it personally, taking it personally, taking what personally? 
some story of some other black person or no not even a story just a, just a law that they're signing that some person is signing it with their confederates she called them i wish <laughs> uh to uh, i guess it had to do with maybe the tennessee situation the tennessee laws and now the tennessee uh black cops allegedly beat Tyre Nichols, Tyree Nichols to death, pretty much. Oops. So, uh, she's like, this is personal. What do you mean personal? You you're not, you don't even know Tyree. <laughs> you don't even know anybody. You're these laws are racist. Racist blacks talk about whites being racist. Give me a break. Whites just want the law enforced. Whites just want sanity. But that gal identifying with all these blacks whom she feels are victims. Similarly, people who are uh, outraged by these, uh, infuriated by these, uh... wow, look at that, so vast. Look at that vast ocean. Dang. See, look, there's a surfer. I don't know if you can see it. I can't tell where I'm looking. Similarly, uh, we who are outraged by the squatters identifying with the landowners, and we don't even necessarily, some of us don't even own any land. Some of us do. Or have had squatters. I know people who've had to deal with the squatters, though. I won't say whether I have. But they'll come in, drink, break windows, Take advantage of uh, amenities. So cool, San Onofre, the cliffs near San Clemente, San Clemente, San Clemente, San Clemente. Cool, huh? Do you guys want to go down the Normie Way? Or do you want to go down the off the beaten pathway, dangerous way? Well, it's it's actually beaten a beaten path itself. Normie or dangerous? Press one. <laughs> Press one for normie. Press two for dangerous. Press, press one for... Never mind, I already said it too late. The landscape here has changed quite a bit. Because uh, there's been landslides. This is actually very soft. I don't know if you can tell. You can probably tell. This is not stone. It's dirt. It's basically dirt cliffs. Like where I'm standing right now could easily just fall and collapse and go towards the ocean and it, and parts of it already have like you you can see there's growth there so that stuff has been there a, while, a little a little while long enough for there to be growth meaning greenery but other parts such as that you, you can see where the dirt is collapsed Anyway, you want to be clear-headed. Clear-minded, not hating, loving. I, I'll, tell, I'll tell you one thing. A little side note. I was listening, again, to the JLP radio, uh, JLP best of the week highlights from this week. March, uh, 18th, this is getting cool, 18th 
I should probably get out of the wind. 18th to uh, 22nd, I guess it would be, because the 17th was St. Patrick's Day Sunday. So Monday through Friday, the 8th, March 18th to 22nd. Uh, and there was some clips of Jesus. You know, a dramatization of Jesus. Jesus Christ, you know, of Nazareth, that guy. He, um, the actor who portrayed him and the actress woman who portrayed the slut, alleged slut, alleged prostitute or adulteress or whatever, they portrayed it all emotional. It might not have been so emotional. It might not have been, <laughs> none of the Lord. <laughs> is, that a, is that annoying? Look at the surfers. I once made the mistake of doing a swim in the ocean early mornings for a race. No wetsuit, just shorts. <clears throat> cold, I got cold. All right. And Jesus was like, neither do I condemn you. <laughs> Come on. It, maybe it was like that, but I, I don't know. Shout out to the Mormons. I'm gonna go the dangerous way, number two dangerous so let's hope that I don't wipe out <sighs> tell me if any of this is uh, is um, are these blackberry plants or something tell me if any of this is poison oak ivy or poison oak leaves of three leave them be <laughs> see that looks like ivy I grew up with Ivy. Okay. No, I just clicked something. Darn it. Ah. Uh, whatever. All right. I made the mistake of tapping the screen and I don't know how to untap it. You tap the screen to like have a focus area. Whoa, I better watch where I'm going. And uh, see, look at this, this parts of this has collapsed. Parts of this have collapsed, I mean. Man, isn't that awesome? Like, dude, it's so obvious globe. Why else would it drop off like that? It's so crisp, so crisp. Atmospheric perspective would, would tend to make it seem like it would just fade because look how faded that area is. You see how faded it is? Atmospheric perspective, the fading. Because I guess the mist and stuff, fog. Hey, some a slight bit of a hint of sunshine. You see that? So nice. Yeah, that feels better. I'm feeling it. You want to see me? I guess I'm presentable, right? What's up, guys? Can you see me? Can you hear me? See, there's a little bit of sun. Hey, see the green of the ocean? See, for us West Coast people in here in the Laos, here in America, see, that's nice. That's what I was hoping for, a little bit of sun. Um, the sun rises behind us if we're facing the ocean. You know, pretty much, more or less. Because the sun, sun rises in the east Meanwhile, the ocean is mostly to our west. 
slash south slash north sometimes depending on what part of the coast you're on you know I noticed it 2.5 looks much better up close than it does with far away shots in my opinion up close shots are better for the 2.5 Look at those guys. What's the purpose? Just having fun. Can you see them? I don't see them. Dang. How do you get rid of this? Anybody know how to get rid of it? Whatever. Hopefully this thing is pretty much in focus. So like there's an extra thing that you have to step over. Anyway. It's slightly precarious. Nice word, huh? Precarious. See, you can't go that way because. But you can't go this way. See if I can do this without falling. The good thing is it hasn't rained too much, so there's no, it's not slippery. If it were slippery, I wouldn't even bother trying, obviously, because I don't feel like slipping down a hill. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, shout out to the Christians. The Christians who are all into uh, emotions just like the rest of the world. Terrible. <laughs> I'm chuckling because you guys were like, leave Elmo alone. Well, one person was. I said at the end of my show yesterday, which I had to cut short prematurely for uh, an appearance, a separate appearance from somebody else in the network, that, see, I made it. It looks like you shouldn't go up that way, huh? Or down that way. But it's actually doable if you're not, if you have decent relatively decent balance and can handle a fall if you happen to slip but you're not likely to slip um, I was saying that Elmo is all girly they made him knock kneed and pigeon toed and timid and sweet slightly a, well not a little bit more than slightly effeminate overly precious like they notice I used to like them right I used to like Elmo <clears throat> Elmo is sort of newer though as I recall he came on the scene a little bit later but I still kind of liked him and I thought of it it was a him as a him isn't that a man's name Elmo
see this is actually a shortcut you know otherwise I'd have to go all the way around this whole area they move this thing back and forth they move that thing back and forth and they made him like by the way, he has kind of bad English and he speaks in the third person or something. What a mess. Make him sound like overly trying to lean into that cuteness. And once they saw that he was popular, they, made, they turned that preciousness up too high. And now he's just... Makes me want to makes me want to spit. It's sort of like a on the GLP highlights podcast highlights best of thing that Sean the producer put together. These baby names, baby precious pet Snookums type names. I don't even know what that name is. Don't get distracted by it. Um, the females and effeminate males name their pet dogs. Like Snookerdoodle, but that's not even like the name of the like they, Bubkins, Bubkins, whatever. Eminem. Eminem was like this angsty, angry, funny, vulgar, in your face, telling it like he sees it, rapper. Sort of fresh. And now he's old, stale, overgrown, still new, never grew out of his angry, griping. Following the rules, pretending like he's not, following the rules, following in the way of the establishment, should have become like Trump, should be, should be loving Trump, because Trump is in your face to the media, forget what the media, to H.E. double two fix with what the media thinks, the establishment, the politically correct mess. Trump is really what Eminem pretended to be, but has been exposed as just a normie, lame, kiss up, following the dumb, evil rules person. And he never grew out of his anger in him. Now it just doesn't fit him. Poor Eminem. <laughs> Whereas Trump grew up and grew out of his wild, shameless, lustful days, at least to the point, to the point where he doesn't uh, show it off, which is sensible what Bill Cosby tried to do. Bill Cosby allegedly had, was uh, not always faithful to his, to uh, not having S word out of wedlock wife, whatever, only with his wife, who knows, who cares, he uh, had the respect, the dignity to hide his issues if he had them, 
and to be decent in decent company in public but no they want to just let it all hang out and then try to out him as being one of them which whether he was or wasn't isn't my concern or theirs and they want to throw that all away you rape women Bill Cosby because he told them to pull up their pants <laughs> was that what's that guy's name Hannibal Burris Please, just anti-man crap. Sorry, kids. <clears throat> the simping that I see going on. The simping that I'm seeing going on over uh, this one woman. Oh, look at that. You know, I pretended to simp for uh, Marjorie Green for a while there. I called her the queen. Because she would go after the liberals and stand up with Trump and for the January Sixers. And I liked her positions, but... And I liked seeing her at a AFPAC 3, where JLP spoke. America First Political Action Committee, something like that. Conference. Nick Fuentes. All of them. But, uh... See, this area has changed quite a bit because this used to be an uninterrupted trail here to here it was an uninterrupted trail, but this river of mud, I guess, slide slash landslide came through here and just opened up this area into like a little, a miniature canyon thing. <laughs> See how it, the land just broke away from itself? Cool. So this, I didn't used to be this low. See the lush. There to there. <clears throat> All this simp excitement Fake love, fake uh, righteousness. Standing with this one gal. Because they agree with her. When she does not belong. Even having her maiden name still, or going by her maiden name. <laughs> A married mother, this female. Acting like she knows what she's talking about, which some of the stuff she may know. I don't know, I don't care. Acting like she has business doing what she's doing. Totally going down the wrong road and the simp, so-called Christians, and they are Christians, Not necessarily Christ-like. All excited about it, going along with her. And she's like, oh, I'm overwhelmed by the love that I've seen on the internet for me. That's not love, young lady. <laughs> Using the term loosely, lady. Eh, she's a little lady-like. But she's not fulfilling her Irish duties not that she's Irish, maybe a little bit. Duties in the home as a mother. A mother, a woman's duties in the home. Nope. She wants to be excited to go on the internet and play like she's uh, standing up for the truth in the world. And the phony excitement, because you join her, some of you. Probably. In uh, self righteous posturing 
over a liberal word called genocide. Give me a break. It's just a liberal word. How embarrassing. Break off the excitement. Don't go with that phoniness. Taking sides. <sighs> Do you guys see the phoniness over, the, over these situations? Over that situation, say. Just ridiculous. Drama. Wow. Isn't that nice? The world, how come it's not focusing? I wonder if I've been out of focus this whole time. Hopefully not. Okay, come on. See, the, the 2.5 looks so much better in the uh, in person. I mean, when you're up close. Ridiculous. I keep on having to tap the screen. Whatever. Oh, uh, she's telling the truth. She's getting fired for telling the truth. Give me a break. <laughs> uh, a classless woman on an ego trip. And shame on them for uh, feeding that ego trip. The people who hired her, the people who fired her, and the people who are cheering her on. My opinion, you know. Doesn't have any business being out there. Give it up and live, be a mother. Wow, tempted to go out there. I don't wanna get my sandals wet. The tide is kinda high. I think I could do it though. Lord have mercy. What's wrong with a little, I don't want to say this word. Side Genoa. <laughs> What's wrong with it?
What's wrong with a little of that? Really? I'm not for war. I'm not so for supporting war. But if you're gonna do it, what's the point? If you're going to do it. <laughs> and I'm not for supporting people. In their phony campaigns. Whether it's a physical war campaign phony physical war campaign phony spiritual war campaign phony political war campaign don't get caught up oh yeah look at that so nice I'm not looking at what you're looking at <laughs> Focus lock thing. Those are sandals, not shoes. And that's getting a bit close. dead it is out here. It's actually alive, but how uh, sparsely populated the area is right now. Yeah, I'm seeing, oh lord, the phony oh, posturing, come on. I saw this one black guy who was like, oh, Papa will take care of her, <laughs> my sister. Oh, come on. I guess they just don't know. This gal whom I'm talking about, about whom I'm talking, doesn't know, apparently. But they think they're right. The dude doesn't know. Something just makes me want to spit. But I don't want to spit in God's studio, this ocean. This ocean has TJ poop and pee and number three 
and throw up. DJ being Tijuana. Ant Wana. No, it's not it's not Ant Wana. It's not Tijuana, it's Tijuana. Tijuana River human waste in the river goes out into the ocean and pollutes our San Diego County and West Coast all up and down California and probably or even Oregon and Washington polluted by the Mexican human waste. Thanks a lot Mexicans. Shout out to the Mexicans. Mexico is like, Texas, don't enforce your laws. Don't enforce, don't protect your borders. Stop, you can't arrest the illegals and deport them. You're gonna make it tough for us. You're gonna give us problems. Well, you're giving, you're allowing problems to come to here. You're allowing problem people to come to here. Time for you to share in our problems. A la what Trump would say to them, you know? Remain in Mexico. Thank you, Trump. It's interesting the clarity that DLP brings with like the Trump situation. Listening to him talk about the, uh, hopefully you guys can hear me with all this. Listening to JLP talk about the blood bath remarks. China and these other countries building um, building car manufacturing plants, uh, factories in Mexico to sell to us and then uh, Trump wants to tariff them 100% <laughs> uh, if he gets elected to protect our manufacturing and encourage our manufacturing. Maybe we can, maybe Trump will get rid of the minimum wage. <laughs> I've never heard him say a word about that. Probably he would increase it. <laughs> but he would allow the country to do so well that we could afford to raise wages or at least the money would be maybe worth something again. Who knows? But uh, Trump loves the country. He doesn't want uh, Black Lives Matter and Antifa. Antifa! And crime, other criminals and troublemakers and angry people to cause trouble and problems and lawless people coming in here acting like they own the place, squatters and newcomers. And these mama spirit women, liberal women, busybody, and effeminate males, liberals, and rhinos, and fake Christians, pretending like he's for violence, when they're ushering in all kinds of violence and committing violence and lying and slandering and spreading hate themselves. Not him, the heck? Yeah, some of his supporters are hateful. Just like everybody else. Probably most of his supporters are. Most human beings are, right? But they don't want to admit that that's them. Not him. Isn't that nice? I think it's nice. Whoa. Whoa. Actually, you can see that it's getting up this high sometimes. Hopefully, we're past high tide. Let me get up on the dry rock. Dude, look at that. Terrible. Maybe I'll go back up onto the trail. I can never come back here again now that you guys know this place.
with you. Look at that. Pretty nice. But JLP, what would you say? I forgot what he would say about Trump and uh, these people. Oh, they're they're saying that he's saying giving coded language to his followers. But that's what they're doing: inciting insane hatred and fear of Trump. Trump supporters, of Trump cult members. Shout out to the Trump cult members. Do I have any? Press, press one if you're a Trump cult, cult member. Is he one of your heroes? I have no heroes. Trust no one. You know the church with JLP assignment two weeks running now. Like they're not in a cult. An anti-Trump cult. You should not be in a Trump cult. Pro-Trump cult. You should not be an anti-Trump cult. You should see the man for what he is. Or admit you don't know who he is. Not be jumping to crazy conclusions. Just because he's funded by mostly unchristians. <laughs> like that's such a bad thing. If you want to be of influence, you better be funded by some unchristian people. <laughs> a worldly influence that is, you know, to do a job like be a president. <sighs> Have a job. I know some haters of the unchristians. Supposedly Christian haters of the unchristians, you end up having to work for the unchristians. <laughs> but, but it's fun to talk like you know what you're talking about and be all up on your high horse with your knowledge. Thinking that you're fighting for what's right, spreading spreading the good word about the unchristian power. <laughs> Waking people up to hating the unchristians. Like that's awakening them. Because you know so much about the unchristians and what they're up to. <laughs> uh, shout out to the haters of the unchristians and the and the critics of the unchristians who, who do not hate them. Those who do not hate them are not annoyed. at uh, us calling most of the haters of the unchristians haters of the unchristians. Think about it. If you're not if you're not a blind hater and a loser, then you wouldn't be mad at People in general are being called a blind hater and a loser. If it doesn't apply to you, then there's nothing to irritate you. Because you don't have any, nothing to be irritated about. All is well. But no, you'd rather be a simp for Candace Owens. <laughs> Loser! Embarrassing. So cool.
Okay, I probably have about 15 minutes left to give you my hour, 10 minutes that I owed you from uh, yesterday's not even half a show. I was thinking about uh, this song came to mind. Look at that. This Mr. Rogers song came to mind for some reason. Uh, oh, because JLP in these uh, highlights, JLP highlights put out by Sean, the producer, toward the beginning of uh, this week's thing. This week's best of the week. Eight, March 18th through 22nd, 2024 AD. Jesse Lee Peterson was talking about a good feeling, a quote-unquote good feeling, chasing a good feeling. Men simping for women to, by becoming like women with dogs and their baby pet names and uh, putting little half hearts on one cheek and a half heart on her cheek and pressing your cheeks together so it makes a fake whole heart. I say fake whole heart because that's not what a heart really looks like, a true heart. <laughs> and uh, becoming like women, men becoming like women to get a thrill of a good feeling, quote unquote good feeling with her. She controls you. And he kept on talking about a good feeling. And it made me think of the, is it a Mr. Rogers song? I'm pretty sure. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. Such a happy feeling. You're growing inside. And when you wake up, ready to say. I think I'll have a happy today. Blah, blah. It's such a good feeling. A very good feeling. A feeling you know that I'll be back when the day is through, when the day is new, and I'll have more ideas for you. You'll have things you'll want to talk about. I will too. <laughs> I think that was his closing song at the end of his show. I don't know if you guys can hear me or see me, if it was blurry. Look, there's a... You gotta watch out for people. People are kind of crazy. Although this is secluded, or uh, secluded is not the right word, because it's huge. It's not like it's, it's out in the open. But although this is uh, not a lot of people here, there are, the people who are here are crazy, <laughs> including yours truly. Um, or their uh, military. So yeah, Mr. Rogers. Into feelings too. <laughs> was he a Marine? Is it true he was a Marine and had uh, Tattoos all up and down his arms. I don't know. See, look at all that mist causing atmospheric perspective. There's Mexican poop in that mist. <laughs> Terrible. Sorry, kids, ladies, gentlemen. Not sorry, but pardon me, excuse me.
Was Mr. Rogers a, a liberal? Like Sesame Street turned out to be a liberal and getting worse? Only getting worse with the evil times, just like evil Joe, crooked Joe Biden. What a mess. JLP said weak people are evil. Or uh, if you're afraid, you're evil. If you have fear, you're evil. Facts. You guys getting bored of this view? I'm gonna need a break soon. Which means I'm gonna end this uh, little show I'm doing for you soon. Huh? Nobody's here. That's what I like about cloudy days. <laughs> uh, rainy days, to be honest. It's supposed to rain pretty soon. I brought a... Uh, I brought a thing to... A poncho thing. Wow, look at that. Is that real? Poor thing is dead. That is a, we're looking at a sea star, a starfish. I'm afraid to touch it. Will it bite me? <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Wow, it's pretty hard. Oh, I didn't expect it to look like that on the other side. See, this is what I hate about this. Okay, nice, A. Hey. That's how I lie down. <laughs> that looks much better. Cool, huh? Pretty nice. trash right there what a mess thanks a lot trashy people I wonder how the focus is probably okay as long as it's fairly distant right Minutes, guys. Then I'll end. Like I said, I need a break. Let's have some cool views, though, right?
These are sandals, not shoes. And they're falling apart. What the heck? Watch. Look at this. Terrible. See that? For a second I thought there were people out there, but no, I don't think there are people out there. See, check this stuff out. Look, there's a bug. You see the bug? You think God loves that bug? Let's see if we can see ocean here. Pretty cool, huh? 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 I think so. I can see for miles. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. I do say so myself. Uh, Nick's American Angry Baby show is funny. He went on VR chat. Okay, so this was, he went on VR chat and was talking to this guy who was supposedly Romanian. Look, people hole up here. People hang out there. Whatever. Um, he's like, will you sing the Romanian national anthem to me, please? And he found out the Romanis are different from Romanians. <laughs> nice, good to know. I didn't know that either, actually. That, that's why I guess I thought Romania, Romanians were like probably dark skin, because Romanis kind of are, right? The gypsies. Shout out to the gypsies. Nick is fun, eh? Nick the American Anger Baby. I gotta finish this show. I still haven't caught the Fallen State from last week. I saw it. I saw it yesterday, this week, but I didn't catch the one from last week because I was in jury duty. Short-lived jury duty. I think the lawyer Doc's take is a podcast host. And it was like, no siree, Bob. Well, you look at that. Where, what is that? <laughs> I gotta end pretty soon here, guys. So, look. Sandpipers. Pretty cool. Well, have a nice one, guys. Listen to Hake News. <laughs> Don't take the bait. And shout out to uh, Candace Owens and Daily Wire. We love them both, if we love anybody. Adios, America. Peace in the Middle East, or in your hearts, or neither. That's fine. Bye. So I head back, probably. Although I kind of want to get some exercise, get some walking in, you know?
Should I go longer? I don't know if I want to go longer. I do need a break. So I do three, four, five sign offs like Anchor Baby does. That's cool. It's charming. <sighs> What's cool is this. Uh, not so much that. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like this. Watch, look how they... I'm picking up stuff on the other side of my... Shoes, but... I don't know, I don't want to get my feet wet right now. Very nice. Sometimes I come out here, I see seals. I I haven't up I haven't created more footage. <sighs> I want to start running my show like Joel does. By instance. I don't. Let me not say what I want to do because that means I'm not going to do it. <laughs> not necessarily, but whatever. Pretty cool. You see this log or whatever it is? It's a tree trunk. Dope. Awesome. You notice that if you uh, judge somebody for something they say or whatever that you disagree with, and then, uh, or you know, this a sort of spirit that they exude through their expression of emotions or whatever, or yeah, pride, whatever they, whatever they seem to exude, and then later. You see something different about them. They they give out a different communication. Maybe about a different topic. It's also important or good that you like. And then you start judging them the other way, or checking yourself. I find that an interesting dynamic, if you will, situation that happens with people. Don't judge people too harshly or too excitedly, negative or positive. Just leave it, leave it alone. It's not a big deal. It's not yours to judge. By the way, just a minor correction, Anchor Baby was talking about, oh, Ben Shapiro. I don't think he's in control of that company necessarily, uh, uh, Daily Wire, just because he owns it. 
or started founded it he doesn't necessarily make the decision to uh, drop that woman who's on an ego trip notwithstanding they may be on some ego trip or other but I <laughs> I don't know I seem like justified to me I don't and I have no idea about the overall about anything anything other than that she seems to be on some trip which she's always on one trip or other oftentimes she's giving correct uh, facts and points of view I generally somewhat agree with including I guess now I guess I don't know I, don't, I haven't really paid attention to a word she said but I just get I get the uh, overall hype around hype feeling that she's giving off she's all excited because she interviewed some guy some uh, rabbi or whatever and it has to do with this Israel war drama situation that should have nothing to do with any of us and really doesn't I see, speaking of this hype, drama, and simping, this gal, this woman, Armenian, Armenians don't like Israel either, <laughs> I, I gather. They like Syria. And I like Armenians, I like Israel, I like Syria. Um, Young Turks woman. Oh, I'm so mad. IPAC is evil, she says. <laughs> like she's not evil. She's evil. And she's on her high horse about this America Israel political action committee, whatever. I don't know what they do that's evil, maybe, probably. But she's a our tax dollars. Give me a break, woman. Don't worry your pretty little head. I'm going to Israel. Support a genocide. What's wrong with that? You support abortion, gal. Lady. No, I'm not for uh, supporting other countries and wars and stuff like that. They don't need us. They, they're better off without us. Like JLP said in the uh, Highlights podcast today, I guess I'm going longer. Huh? I guess I can hold that break till later. You can't help anyone. He says, I can't help you. you uh, I can't help you. I work on myself. Don't, I ain't got time to help you. And even if I did have time, no one can help you. And you're a little help that you can't help anybody. Your little help does more harm. Uh has the opposite effect. It's not helping. So yeah, we should be helping. Oh, I feel a raindrop. It's gonna start raining. Maybe I should turn around. <laughs> All right, let me turn around. Maybe I, could, maybe I go to the gym, hit the jacuzzi. <laughs> um, your little help is not hurt, helping anyone. So I agree with her, not supporting. Um, the war. Let them, let them G word. Let them G word on their own dime. And nobody get all up on your high horse about the G word. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Oh no, but I'm hearing drops and seeing drops and feeling drops. I knew it was supposed to start raining. It's 10:47, you know. Boom. And it might get kind of clumsy, which is fine. I'm fine with a little clumsiness, you know? <laughs> oh, you know I'm fine with a little clumsiness. Uh, if I have to put my poncho on, I don't... Hopefully it'll just stay kind of light raining. Who cares about a little... Nothing you can do about a little G word. Eno, Gino, 
side Gino way. So I'm fine with that. <laughs> but she's just so pumped up. You know, sometimes you guys are like, okay, calm down, James. Hey, gonna rant. Stay clear-headed so you can see clearly what to do. Have the presence of mind. Have the wherewithal. Not to get caught up in matterless affairs. Do lives matter? <laughs> mine, kind of to me. Sort of. There's drops on this screen here. On my screen. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Kind of. Did I make, did I finish my point about that? Yeah, I guess I kind of did. You got the sense by the mockery I expressed, the mock emotions. <laughs> Looking down on them. Looking down on them while they look down on the Israelis for NSI jigging. It's fine. No, I, that's terrible. Look, 31,000 or however many killed. One killed. That's, I don't know. I, don't, doesn't, doesn't, I wouldn't want to be killed. Who, who would want to be killed? Part of me had to blow my nose in God's studio but he pretty much lets anything anything goes in God's studio including NSIJ so stop using those liberal words like you're so outraged phony Nice being in America while it lasts, right? I guess. I was interested in uh, these claims by these people who are running these, uh, or pushing this PR stuff, this uh, HR stuff, I should say. Like the gal who was interviewed by JLP, the, the supposedly black, uh, light skin <laughs> completely uh, white features almost almost completely white features uh, gal who is saying companies businesses that do this DEI stuff their profits are way better than the companies that don't <laughs> well I'll tell you that's because these uh, Pro DEI liberal media and pro e DEI uh, entrenched um, liberals in the academia, politics, and activism. The squeaky wheel bully, if you will, if you'll allow me to use that word, you'll forgive me for using that word. Whatever. Um, the uh, these big companies, they target these big companies that are making major profits, that are uh, in bed with the government already and can absorb evil things like minimum wage and onerous regulations that make it hard for little companies, up and comers, startups to do business and that don't have the overhead, but also don't have the income. They cannot compete. 
Otherwise, they would be able to compete if they had more freedom and didn't have these onerous undue regulations. Some, some regulations, I don't know who has the right to, to regulate. That's a different question, but some rules, regulations, the substance of them, I would agree with, but the, uh, the system of them and the people who are infecting the, uh, the organizations that are enforcing these are evil. And many of the rules are insane, illogical, evil, ridiculous and have nothing to do with protecting the environment or protecting the workers or people or, what, or whatever. I can't name any specifics because I'm not in those fields, those industries, but the people who are in these industries know what I'm talking about. Even OSHA, even OSHA probably has dumb, stupid rules. The best, the number one thing, the number one rule, stay present. <laughs> my, uh, one of my friends that I, with whom I used to work. He had cut off his uh, finger, cut off part of his finger. He said, you can't be thinking about, I'll clean it up for you. <laughs> Women. When you're at work, you gotta have your mind and eyes and attention on your work. Pay attention. I noticed in school, I would just, I, <laughs> probably the reason I did better than Joel in school, say, because I could pay attention. I was able to pay attention in school. And, and I took it in. But also, uh, I don't know, I think some people, I don't know how. I think attention allows you to have a memory because I can remember things, but maybe some people have a natural talent at retaining info for dumb, useless academic information and not always useless, not always dumb info. But a lot of that stuff is just paying attention and being present and common sense. You learn these different things. Oh, it's common sense. Duh. It makes so much sense. Ooh. So self-regulate, self-regulate, and you won't need, uh, you won't give the, the people who would love to lord it over you the, the, the uh, excuse to lord it over you, to, power, to uh, regulate you. Like the, uh, the blacks and others who do not have the law of their hearts or they need the law of the land to crack down on them and violate their rights in some cases, so-called, supposed rights. You give them the excuse and then you give them the excuse to crack down on the rest of us. The good have to suffer with the bad. What a mess. They use the laws. Uh, made to... Uh, Made, made in part because blacks are out of control and they use them against the whites selectively. But interestingly, it also affects many blacks. For example, so-called hate crimes. Did you know, I learned this from real Vincent James, that blacks commit or are convicted of uh, hate crimes more per capita Than, uh, than whites or than uh, the general population. 
per capita compared to their share of the population. They're more likely. They, uh, you randomly select a black. You randomly select, say, a, say a hundred thousand blacks. And I don't know what the rate is. Let's say, uh, let's say it's a, let's pick a low number. Five out of every hundred thousand blacks. Tiny, tiny percentage commit this fake thing called hate crime. Fake, fake evil idea, right? Used in order to uh, politically cudgel the whites over the poor innocent victims, Jewish people, gays, blacks, Hispanics, aliens, immigration status, you know? Immigration status. Um, let's say five blacks for 100,000 blacks. Out of 100,000 whites, it may be like two or, or one or one and a uh, quarter, one and a quarter or uh, something like that. I don't know what the numbers were that uh, Real Vincent James dug up, but they're like, you know, I think it's well known and established that their murder rates, regular murder, homicide, six times that of whites. Let's say out of 100,000 blacks, let's pretend there were uh, six, only six murderers out of those 100,000. It might be more than that. It might be more like 60. Let's call it 60. No, that's high. Let's call it 30. 45, 45 per 100,000. 48, 48. Out of uh, 100,000 whites, non-Hispanic whites, mind you. Because <laughs> uh, the Hispanics have a higher than, than non-Hispanic white uh, crime rate. Uh, let's, let's just say that it's 48 per 100,000 blacks um, may commit a murder. It's, uh, let's divide that by six, eight. Eight whites per 100,000 commit a murder. I disavow murder, but shout out to the murderers. We, if we love anybody, we love the murderers too. Because you're supposed to love everybody. If you don't, then you too are a murderer. But don't be looking down on the murderers. It's so wrong. You looking down on the uh, Daily Wire <laughs> or on Candace? <laughs> uh, um, interesting, huh? Well, let's say that out of hate crimes, let's say it's 10 black, maybe five blacks commit a hate crime. Maybe it's one white per 100,000 commits a hate crime. <laughs> but there are five times as many whites, as many whites, so maybe five whites per 500,000, <laughs> whatever. Uh, there's probably fewer than five times as many whites now. Declining population, you know. Wow, uh, hour and 35 minutes almost. I should probably take you guys all the way back up to that nice view and show you the nice view again. Very nice, huh? I know I like it. So cool. It's so, it's such a good, feeling to know you're alive such a happy feeling you're growing inside and when you wake up ready to say I think I'll have a happy today 
It's such a good feeling. A very good feeling. Obvious globe. Obvious, obvious, obvious globe. Just crisp horizon. Horizontal. What in the world? So beautiful. How how would thinking that it's a how would knowing that it's a ball make you an atheist? Dumb. But most of us live for the fake idea of self, which is atheism. Fun times on a Sabado. Wonder how long this will take to upload. Because no, this is not live. Huh. Oh, okay. Just thinking about different things. I think I'm recording in 720, so hopefully it uploads fast. So, how you guys doing? I am fine. A little walking, you know, it's good for you. Or a lot of walking. See, that's, that's soft dirt, basically. Dirt. It's not rock. There are rocks in the dirt, but that's dirt. So that could easily fall and collapse like it has many times. And then s stones and then see sand. Oh. It's a caterpillar. Protect the uh, protect my lenses from getting drops on them and messing up the picture. Cool, huh? Oh, you see the drops on them. Drops on him. I call him handsome man. Hello, handsome man. How you doing, handsome man? Snookums, snooky doodle. I call him poop, like the girls, because I am a simp for girls. How you doing, Elmo? You doing okay there, Elmo? Elmo is feeling the water on him. Uh, getting so much water. It's raining, it's coming down. Okay. See, what's up guys? How you doing? 
Okay, the water is coming down and hopefully it has not landed on the thing. And so far I'm okay. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep you on, okay? Look. That's getting wet. <laughs> I won't wear a collared shirt for you guys, but I'll, I'll wear a collared shirt for the Lord on the Sabbath. Coming out into the Lord studio. Praise the Lord. Is there a, is there a drop on the on the lens? I see a drop on one lens, but there's like three lenses here, so I can't tell. I don't know which is which. I've never figured that out yet. Never bothered to pay attention like that. <laughs> it drops all over my screen. It's just drop, just wet. Okay. Should I go up the dangerous way again, though? Because the dangerous way has better views, my opinion. So cool. I got cool from a uh, cool. I got that from. Uh, I won't tell you why. I got it. Uh, maybe I'll tell you another day or later. Mildly attractive. I got from a buddy of mine, former buddy. Oh, I bet you my backpack is pretty soaked, too. Should I get my poncho on? You guys want to see my poncho? Ah, nah. I don't know. Maybe I should. fun right kind of like a little clumsy Volcom sponsored by Volcom not Volcom disavows me and I probably disavow Volcom or you guys probably pronounce it Volcom I like Volcom better I'm just getting, I'm getting wetter by getting this thing out, hunching over, exposing my back to the elements, I'm trying to get drier. I got this from uh, NorCal, of course, wherever they are. Still going there, guys? Okay. Yeah, easy day. Wind advisory. Now my back is soaked. And now we're putting this thing on. This thing of a jigger on. Don't cut this. Don't cut the recording. I don't want to have to splice. I probably won't even bother splicing if this cuts, so adios guys if this cuts. Hopefully it doesn't cut. Come on. I don't have to be that clumsy. A lot of clumsies is a lot of clumsiness is just not paying attention. We're at hour and 45. And let me see if I can put this thing on. <laughs> Okay, we're going in. We're going in. Wait. 
We're coming back out. <laughs> Hold on. Hold up. Hey. Everyone. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh gosh. Oh no. I should not have touched this. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, hold on. Let's see what I can do. You still going? Yes, so far so good. Hang on. You're coming in here with me. Still going? Yep. 